Hello everyone, Colin, MM0 OPX here. I want to show you a project I've been working on since for some time, probably six months or so. So, so what is it? So, it's face verticals. Now, if you've been following the videos, you know I've been um, developing a Justy Wave. Um, and I've been using them with um, the 5 meter wind jammer poles, and it's been working fantastic. Although the pole is almost too short. But it does give you 40 metres. So I invested in another pole. These poles are only about £15 delivered uh, in the UK. So very, very inexpensive and quite strong. So I have two of these set up. And I have them working in phase. This is my uh, control unit, my phasing uh, unit. Uh, so inside this box there's a a single pole double throw uh, automotive relay and um, so the antennas have eighth wave facing so that's five meters uh, on 40 meters um, and the delay lines uh, for this design are 157 degrees so two of those as you could see and the delay line is 39 degrees so we have power into the box we have uh, feed to one of the antennas for the phasing lines. Um, this is the delay line. And on the other side, you can see um, this is the feed for the um, second phasing line uh, to the vertical, the other vertical. And this is the connection to the rig. So it took me about... Um, I guess an hour, just over an hour to set this up from scratch, uh, first to me setting it up. Um, so what did I do? So I set them both up and then I wanted to set the centre frequency um, for each antenna to uh, 7.150. Um, couldn't quite get that but, you know, almost, almost got that. So I think I really need the, the 6 metre um, version pole for this because the, the antennas are having some interaction uh, with each other. But unfortunately the SWR isn't fantastic so it does have a dip um, but the dip's just below 2 to 1 um, and both antennas are the same so I'm not entirely sure why that is but I'm assuming there's some sort of interaction perhaps something to do with the radials overlapping I I'm not sure um, if you can perhaps help please uh, leave a comment uh, below so then after testing each antenna on the analyzer I then um, tested with a short piece of coax um, just at the control box there and the SD uh, SWR hardly moved so it was it was just about two to one so that's kind of telling me that the design of the delay lines the delay line and the phasing lines is okay um, so we'll go back so you can see one of these wires is the coax feed and the other is the power um, to throw the relay Kind of locked out today with the weather. So, I'm not quite sure which direction it's throwing in. Um, but there is a marked difference. I've noticed that. I've done a video there. And I was actually hearing stateside coming in there. Um, just 10 minutes ago. So, it does seem to be having um, some front to back. So, let's have a little listen about Oh, you see it coming up there. And Bob, let me turn it so that's S8, S9. Uh, hello, Bob. VK3SX. Man, they're coming out of the woodwork. So, this is extremely interesting. So, as you can see, I moved back the second vertical. So this has now got um, quarter wave, um, quarter wave uh, spacing. But the vertical is actually completely unwound because I wanted to test uh, one antenna at a time. So this antenna is completely unwound. So it shouldn't be having, shouldn't as I say, shouldn't be having any interaction with this antenna. So then let's check out this. It's exactly the same. 
which I find incredibly strange because I think what what is causing an effect on this um round about here. So I'm gonna repeat this. I'm gonna wind in this antenna and I'm gonna check the SWR on here and see how we get on. And just as a quick test, I thought I would just before I um Swapped over to the antenna, I thought I would just take 20 metres and that's absolutely perfect, so there's no interaction there at all. So let's go and check out the other antenna. So we've just swapped things over, so um, this antenna is, it's completely wound in. So there's no element extended at all. And then did the same thing here. So, so we extended this. And we check the sweep, and we're getting exactly the same results. So, it is strange. As I say, you've seen on previous videos, I've had this set up in my garden, one antenna. Um, and it all works fine. 40 meters is good. So... I guess it's just an elimination game to see what's actually um, affecting this. So, I'm going to wrap things up here. Um, so, um, how do we summarise <laughs> uh, what's went on today? Um, so, as you've seen when I first set up, um, the SWR on each antenna was um, about 2 to 1 at the dip, um, on 40 metres. Um, so I thought each either antenna was interacting but that isn't the case um, I put fully retracted one of the antennas and I even moved it to a different spot and tried it there and it's still the same um, I tried the antenna on 30 metres just just as it is um, and the match is perfect on 30 metres up about 9 and a bit megahertz up actually we're getting that nice sort of um, you know 1.2 to 1 1.1 to 1 something like that I think on 10 metres it was 1.04, so perfect match on, 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 uh, sorry, 30 metres, 30 metres. Um, so I thought what I would try, um, just before I went, now I've got limited resources where I am, so you can see that I raised up the, um, uh, one of the units, and I've got it raised, so I actually butchered uh, one of the radials, and I actually, um, elevated one radial, now because I've got the adjust to be further up the pole, I need to effectively offset the feed point. So this this wire, this blue wire is effectively about 12 metres long or such. So we're on a sweep with that, and it is better. So you can see it's just about, you know, it's just tickling 1.5 to 1. Um, okay, the, 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 um, the resonant frequency isn't ideal, um, but there's no point in me adding any more wire to this because the dip would just be the same if it was, you know, if it was within 40 metres. Um, so, so please leave your comments below. Um, I'm going to go home because I've had this set up in the garden on 40 metres and the match has been good. I've had it over salt water and the match has been good. So I just don't know what's affecting the antenna within this location. Um, is it the type of ground? I, I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so. Um, it's, it's very much a clay soil. There's a lot. When this house was built, it was nothing but clay, and this is all added topsoil. But if you go down a feet or so, it's just solid clay. But then I don't think that would affect anything, or I think it would have too much effect. Um, so, not quite sure what's actually going on. But as far as phasing's going, um, I was getting some front to back. Um, you'll have seen the clip there. Or a couple of clips, so we are seeing some front to back um, uh, switching in the relay and out again. So that's good. I suppose the other positive is that the, the, the phasing network it didn't affect the match SWR, anything to talk about. So that's good. So I think I need to be able to get the antenna itself uh, a match, and once I do that, then hopefully it'll all come together. So a little bit of head scratching for now. Um, um, but certainly some positives and a few negatives but I'm sure we'll get there so until the next one 73 for now so we're not done yet I just couldn't let this rest 
until I, I, I came home uh, and I set one of these antennas up in my own garden and it really, this was more for a sanity check more than anything although I knew it was okay, I had to do it so, set one of the antennas up same amount of radials that we had uh, earlier on and have a look at this, have a look at the sweep exactly where I want it um, absolutely spot on and I mean, look at what we've got around about here for metal work uh, greeny poles um, lamp posts swing tower um, antenna off the tower another greeny pole so we've got a lot of structure around here um, and it doesn't seem to be affecting it obviously it affected it over here um, as you seen in the previous video um, but, but that's good so at the previous um, location there, there had to be something affecting it that's, that's, that's the only thing that it, it really could be um, so anyway I'm saying uh, I'm not going mad so I think the next thing to do is we need to get the antennas to a location um, clear of any objects or just try a different location uh, and set up the phasing system and see how we go from there okay that's me now